All right, folks, what we've got now is two of the protein pancakes, egg white, and three lean muscle food sausages. What is good, people? A lot of people kept asking me to do a full day of eating while in quarantine, so I thought I'd just show you my meals. So the first thing I'm having today, because I ran out of all brand, is the protein porridge pots. These are the umfy ones, so each one is 20 grams of protein. I mixed it with some powdered peanut butter, simply because this is less fat than actual real peanut butter. And it tastes pretty close, you can still taste the peanut taste. And I also mixed it with granola, simply because it gives a nice bit of crunch. And that was the first bit of breakfast. For those of you that care about the supplements I've had today, so this is what I've had, the L-carnitine, the D3, the daily vitamin, and my CLA. I'm going to try and keep this video fairly sweet and fairly quick. I'm also going to train today as well. When I do my daily walk around the park, if it's free, I go and train. So yeah, I'll show you the next meal, then we'll go to the park. Alright, so while that's cooking, I thought I'd come to you quickly. The one thing I did miss out is this morning when I woke up, I did do my cardio. So on the treadmill, if you didn't know, I have one there. I did 30 to 35 minutes on that today, which is normally the most I do. That was around, around 4,000 steps in the morning straight away. So what we've got now is two of the protein pancakes, one small egg, then the egg whites, I think it's around 100 to 150 millis, and three of the lean muscle food sausages, a super light spread, a peanut butter. But on the protein and pancakes, which is why I didn't want to have it in my actual cereal as well, because I knew I was going to have it with this meal, I'll be taking a protein bar with me on my walk, just because I often get hungry, because I try and do at least like a good extra two to 3,000 steps on the walk. So this one I'm going to have right now, and this probably in about an hour from now. By the way, people, everything I've eaten so far is from musclefood.com. Link is in the description box. Because some of you always keep asking me, even though it's the same damn place. Muscle food is where I get most of this type of food from. Right, people, what I'm also going to have is an apple. These are little garlic apples I get. They're like the snack fun size ones. Hopefully you enjoy this swifter full day of eating. Also, people, you may notice that this video is edited a little bit different. It's like different overlays I put on the screen and stuff. It's purely because this company reached out to me. It's a company at the moment that's kind of focusing on small creators that want to get into like, YouTube and stuff, especially while quarantine is going on and it's very affordable. It's called Movavi. I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end, but today I'm just kind of fat free and doing extra kind of things they've got in the package just to see what it's like. Then I'll give you like a little bit of a mini review at the end. So for those of you that are trying to like maybe get into YouTube or Instagram editing, uh, feel free to check it out. But I'll put the link in the description box and I'll talk more about it at the end of the video. All right, people, we've now reached to the park and what we're going to do now is probably get a little bit of a workout in. As you can see, it's basically empty. There's not many people here. So when it's like this, I try and get like a quick workout in. Sometimes people come, but you try and move as far away from them. I know a lot of people said that their park is all locked up and stuff, um, but ours isn't yet. The swing set is they locked that up a few days ago, but in terms of the actual basketball court, and the entrance to the park, that's still open. So I normally try and get a nice little sort of pump in because I love training outdoors. That's a newfound love I've got. Speakers are essential. <laughs> anyway, these are the bands I'm using. Follow me on Instagram. You'll probably know how to kind of use these, but basically there's many exercises you can do. You loop it, you pull it through, and you can do so many exercises. Let's move this out of the way. <laughs> Epic fail. So today, we actually brought a little 5kg dumbbell with us just because it's not that heavy. So what I'm going to do is, probably won't film all of it, we're going to do walking lunges with the bag and also Bulgarian split squats. Luckily we have this massive log. Right, people, the next one though is actually simulating a chest fly, it's really good. No one's fine. We quickly show you things in the chest because you can't see it properly for you. I showed it on Instagram, but you couldn't really see it properly. So basically, what you do is you stand away from it and you get it needs to be an intense, like a pretty thick band as well. 
and you squeeze and you hold. So if you come close, you look at the chest, it is actually working. And this is probably my favorite of all the band exercises I discovered. Literally the best one. I personally try and do it a little bit higher. If I was with the weights, I normally try and go to like mid chest. But with this one, I feel a better contraction when I kind of do it higher and pause. It really makes me hold the muscle a lot more. There's loads you can do, it literally simulates a proper cable machine as well. Because you can twist in the obliques. Anyways, people, this is a full day of eating, so we're going to keep you going. I'm throwing for my Fitbit, I realise I ain't got it. So all today's steps didn't count. Just joking. Anyways, people, we'll cut back to you when we're at home, we're actually eating. By the way, this is how we walk around in quarantine. We have the music playing everywhere we go. But yeah, what we're doing right now is we're going to go to the store and buy some food. Food and a drink, because we, we trained without actually bringing a drink, which was pretty stupid. Normally we always have like water. But yeah, man. Alright, we got our stuff. Uh, the, the way we were going to go was co-op and it was closed. So we went to the store, this local store in Edmonton High Street. Alright people, we are moving on to one of the last main meals of the day. Well, this is the main last meal. So we've got sweet potatoes and beef mince meatballs. That's going to be the last thing to eat. There was actually no other green veg on the plate because the store was closed so I didn't get to get that. I did also miss out, I had a protein bar as well. You guys didn't see it but I ate it, it's the one I showed you earlier. Other than that, the only thing I've been eating is... I didn't have any raspberries or anything in the store so I've got grapes. And that's probably going to be most of the thing I eat today. If I do eat anything else, it'll probably be one of these tiny little My Protein Kit Kat bars, just because I've been kind of addicted to these. So that was most, well, virtually everything I ate today that I showed you on camera. What is good, people? I hope you enjoyed the full day of eating video. But right now, what I'm going to do is speak about briefly the Mavavi software that I used to edit this video. For those of you that are trying to get into doing YouTube and Instagram, as I mentioned, you may want to check it out purely because it's so damn cheap in comparison to, for example, uh, Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, which is obviously going to set you back hundreds. Whereas this, if I believe with my discount code, I think the basic package of it is roughly around £55. Um, the discount code and everything will be in the description box and I'll probably put it on screen as well as the link down below. But yeah, first of all, let me break it down how it kind of works. Firstly, it is very similar in my opinion to Final Cut Pro. Um, so if you've ever had any experience in using any sort of video editor in the past, you'll probably get on with it pretty easy. In terms of adding the effects and overlays on screen, they are pretty, pretty easy to do, which is quite good. Uh, the best thing I personally found, which is going to sound minor to you guys, but I thought it was really good, the stabilization when you're using the software. So if someone's recording you, that's like a little bit of a shaky hand or something like that. There's a little thing you literally drag and drop onto the screen and it makes it so much more smooth. There were scenes in this video where it was really shaky, but I dragged on that thing and it basically made it look like it was virtually standing still, maybe with a slight kind of wobble, which I thought was really, really, really good, which I haven't seen in any of the other softwares or I haven't noticed it yet. But anyways, uh, that part's pretty good. Going back to the effects that I mentioned on screen, there's actually different like um, effect packs that you can buy on the website. So for example, if you're into fitness, you'd buy the fitness pack. If you're into nutrition or um, like fashion and stuff, there's different packs for like different kind of themes. If you're into like gamer type stuff, there's different effects that will kind of suit that niche. I use the fitness pack and a little bit of the, uh, the cooking one, which is why you got kind of the chef stuff. Uh, so that's kind of things I vibed with. Overall, I would say that if you're really trying to look into do, doing some sort of influencer type thing and you don't want to shell out for those big expensive softwares, this is definitely a good software to start out with. I still think it's better than um, iMovie, which is the basic one that comes with a Mac. And for the price, it's dead cheap. I would personally check them out. The link's down below. They offer a free trial as well for seven days. So if you just want to download it, see what it's like, and then kind of go by here, feel free to. I'll, make, I'll probably make a video soon, depending on how much longer lockdown lasts, on things you could do during lockdown. I know it's pretty late, but at the end of the day, you never know. So I personally feel like lockdown probably will end in the next few weeks, so it may not be worth it, but we will soon see. Anyways, people, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know personally if you actually do use the software and what you thought about it yourself, uh, whether you want to comment down below or just DM me on Instagram if you want any more help. Anyways, people, I'm gone. Stay getting games, and hopefully you're doing okay.